Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here, as always. Uh, maybe one of the more uh, unique and interesting and strange episodes I think I've ever done. Uh, we are, of course, talking about Houston Crosta and what exactly happened to him in the latest Hamilton Collection vlog with David Dobrik. Don't worry, we got to the bottom of it. We have an answer for you in case you've been wondering ever since that vlog went live yesterday. Uh, but before we get to that, guys, uh, make sure to sub to the channel. We love having you here on our grind to 300,000 subscribers, uh, making Beard Nation pretty strong these days. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. All right, first up tonight, guys, uh, definitely one of the strangest stories I think I've ever covered, at least uh, for the last year or so, and it has to do with a video uploaded to the Hamilton Collection yesterday. Now, I had watched a good chunk of the video, you know, up until like 10 minutes into the vid. Uh, you know, it was a good video. I was gonna recommend it to you guys, David Doe. A little bit of Houston Crosta and the Hamilton collection all sort of wrapped together in a great hypercar package. There was a lot to love in the video. Uh, but you know, as I wrote it down, I was starting to move on to other stuff. All of a sudden, my inbox on Instagram gets absolutely flooded with people telling me one very strange thing. All of a sudden, everybody is telling me that Houston Crosta got shot and to watch the very end of the Hamilton collection video. So, of course, I peruse over there. I see that I've skipped something near the last minute or so. And and this is the clip that everyone showed me. Watch this. What happened? I got shot, so I have this like blood drain. You just dumped so blood into it. Oh, oh, so I dumped it out in the bush. <laughs> what the f Brother, you got some crazy stories. You, you got shot? Yes. Uh, they got his watch too. Wait. Oh, they, they, the ripped, they ripped his <laughs> RM off his wrist and put a Fitbit on. I got a Fitbit now. <laughs> huh? Wait. So you saw the clip right there. Houston saying that someone shot him uh, and additionally saying that someone ripped off his RM watch as well, a very expensive watch, and now he has a Fitbit. Uh, very confusing to David Dobrik, and you should see some of the comments that were in the comment section below. We had comments like this, wishing Houston a speedy recovery. Uh, do we know how he got shot? I'm very confused. It's the first time I have heard anything about this. Wait, Houston got shot, WTF. That was literally my thought. Uh, did he get shot or what happened to him? Wait, Houston got shot. Uh, someone saying, I was wondering the same thing. Someone pointing to the timestamp saying Houston got shot, WTF. Also in the info section of the video, it said PS Houston Crosta got shot, don't even ask. A lot of people were extraordinarily confused. We looked online, couldn't find anything. Nobody was talking about it, uh, but he was obviously pointing to something in the video. So we actually texted Houston Crosta himself and he told me exactly what happened. Houston told us that it was just a joke. He actually had stomach surgery and additionally said that Tommy said he was shot on the video because they were in Beverly Hills and it's super dangerous. So no, Houston Crosset was not shot, uh, just had stomach surgery. I would imagine he's doing fine after that. Uh, seemed to be in good spirits over text, uh, but I can imagine why some people thought that he actually did get shot. Sometimes uh, someone's sense of humor, uh, it might be hard to translate that in video Video, especially if you don't know them personally. Even I was a bit confused about whether it actually happened or not. So we got to the bottom of it for all of you guys. And there was probably like 30 or 40 people that messaged me about this. Uh, no, Houston Crosta was not shot. Next up guys, uh, a crazy piece of news about Ferrari and a patent they just put down for. Uh, I had to read this a couple of times to find out whether or not it was true. And it absolutely is. The drive has the article, Ferrari has filed a patent for gas thrust Thruster pulse jet handling system for supercars, saying that Elon Musk mentioned something like this for Tesla years ago, but Ferrari has drawn up a system that could work for real. Saying Ferrari, like any good supercar manufacturer, is always looking for ways to get more performance out of its cars, whether it's funky new shocks from Multimatic or advanced hybrid systems coupled to ever more powerful turbocharged engines, the Italian automaker has a slew of tricks up its sleeve. One recent patent application is out of left field though. The Marinello brand is looking into gas thrusters. Now this may seem familiar to any Tesla fans out there. Elon Musk has talked about a similar system for the new Tesla Roadster and Ferrari's concept is roughly the same. Uh, the, the particular writer for this was not able to find a patent on Tesla's system though, at least not describing something like this so explicitly. Ferrari's patent was also filed in late 2019, although it was only published a few days ago. Now literally the next 80% of the article is dedicated to uh, the technical specs of exactly what this system would look like. I'm not gonna bore you with that, just know this. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like Ferrari is actually looking to implement uh, gas thrusters jets in a form on their supercars moving forward, or at least was serious enough to file for a patent for it all the way back in 2019. Uh, kind of a crazy thing, uh, but it could be what we see on supercars moving forward. Imagine that. Next up, guys, monster video from Daily Driven Exotics. It's called It's Done, revealing my new built Lamborghini Huracan Hater Slayer. Uh, uh, one of the best looking cars, in my humble opinion, the Daily Driven Exotics has ever churned out. Um, they've really been killing it, by the way, in social media uh, with their viewership on both their secondary channel, Daily Driven Exotic Stories, that's a long form, out of character sort of thing, and their main channel, the Daily Driven Exotics channel. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Let me know what do you think of the new Hater Slayer. Are you a fan or would you have done things a little bit different? Let me know in the comments below, but definitely check out that video one of the top ones in the automotive sphere today. Then we got Shmi 150, guys, doing a collaboration with someone we don't talk about all that often, but the title of that gives it away. New Corvette Z06 First Drive. My friend Eddie X bought this American supercar. Now, the video is fantastic, especially if you're a Z06 fan or a Shmi fan or an Eddie X fan. Uh, if you guys don't know who Eddie X is, he's been doing uh, phenomenal reviews on his channel for years and many, 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 many years ago, even before we were doing news in the automotive and supercar community. He used to be associated with vehicle versions, if you can believe that. They split off a uh, many number of years ago, and he's had his own channel since then. Definitely go check it out, though, guys. Uh, one of the things I like about Shmi150 is he basically does collaborations with just about everybody, and that's an awesome thing to see. Uh, all about camaraderie in the automotive community. Definitely check it out, guys. I think you'll really like the video. and Maybe you'll become a fan of Eddie X as well. Then we have an absolutely phenomenal, if not all together, Together, fair drag race on throttle house this one was super exciting i clicked on it immediately rivian r1s versus lamborghini urus versus shelby f150 super snake drag and roll race uh so i would imagine you guys probably know which two cars are going to be top of the heap in this drag race but i was pretty surprised about how well the rivian and, and the urus sort of were neck and neck for a good chunk of the standstill race now the super snake did not do as well in terms of the drag and roll race, uh, but I will say this, it definitely sounded the best, in my humble opinion, of the three there. Obviously, we're not gonna get much sound from the Rivian. The Urus is also pretty good sounding, but something about the Super Stake, man, I would imagine it's a pretty great feeling to be behind the wheel of that vehicle. As always, guys, Throttle House delivering uh, really some of the best drag and roll race content out there, uh, always unique, fantastically presented. If you've not added Throttle House to your subscription list and you're a true automotive fan, you're really missing out. I've been a fan of theirs for many years at this point. Check it out. And finally, a little Nürburgring action courtesy of Misha, guys. Wild Carbon Honda S2000 trying to survive my miss shifts uh, at the Nürburgring. Uh, like we've said for many weeks now, we've been covering Misha a lot. Uh, I like to add some fantastic driving crazy Nürburgring content. There's really nobody else better out there other than Misha. There are other folks that have great uh, videos that take place at the Nürburgring, but no one is sort of solely dedicated the way that Misha is in his endeavors there. Uh, if you want Nurburgring content, you gotta be following Misha. That's all I can say about it. And finally, guys, uh, some quick news about me and my supercar. So obviously I've been talking about this for many, many months now. Uh, we've got the sort of green light to pick it up on Saturday. Those crazy snowstorms that we had over the past couple of days here in Colorado Springs uh, it basically pushed back everything till this weekend, but I'm hoping I can pick everything up on Saturday, film a video, and then hopefully get you that video by Sunday and make it nice and aesthetically pleasing, cinematic, all that kind of jazz. Uh, and then I got to say goodbye to it again right away because we're going to get some paint protection film and some other uh, fun little things as well. But anyway, that's a big update on my supercar. Look for it probably either Saturday night or Sunday, one of those two, as long as everything stays to the current schedule. But anyway, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, let me know what you thought about some of the stories today. Always good to have your feedback, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow on Friday, ending out the week per usual. That's all I got, guys. Have a great night. Bye.